Welcome to a really drizzly day here at Edinburgh Waverley Station. I'm taking a train trip today. I'm heading down to Preston and then on to St Anne's on Sea in Lancashire in England. I'm travelling with Avanti West Coast and today I thought I'd try their new standard premium service. It's a sort of halfway between first class and standard. Fancy joining me? Welcome to Rog Vlog. Okay, let's see what it's like. Now it still says first class on the doors, so they've not updated the signage. So it's a standard one times two layout, and the seats have got the standard premium anti macassars on the top. So this is the seat I've chosen. This standard premium is actually a really clever idea. Now these Avanti West Coast Pendolino trains, the Class 390s, are about 12 carriages long. Four of those carriages are first class. Now of course not every day they sell all of those first class seats. So what they've done is they've introduced this almost like variation. So if they don't sell all the seats in first class, they just change the seat backs to say standard premium and they sell those as standard premium instead of first class. Obviously you don't get the first Food and the drinks that you get in first class and you don't get access to the first class lounge but you still get the seat and you still get the first class style environment and the upgrade fee is a lot less than you might think and we're off bang on time okay let's take a look around and about the seat quite comfortable padding on your back and on your bum. Wide and sturdy armrest. Lots of leg room. Plug socket. And reading lamp. The process for buying a standard premium ticket is a little bit complicated, I have to say. You've got to buy a standard ticket on the internet or on the app. And then once you've bought your standard ticket, you've got to upgrade it either on the internet or in the app. Now, I found that after I bought my standard ticket, the app wouldn't work and the website wouldn't work. So I've had to purchase my upgrade here on the train today. But it's not a problem. This carriage is absolutely deserted. There's only two other people in the entire carriage, so I need to of worried. Well, I think it's time for a coffee. Now, Avanti usually have at seat service where you order coffee and food via the app. But because of the industrial action, that's not working at the moment. So, we're going to have to take a trip to the onboard cafe. Standard premium coach is completely deserted. Oh no, one person, just one. Let's have a look how busy standard class is. And now for the buffet car. Do they call them buffet cars anymore? The cafe, oh no, the shop. Line, I think standard premium is going to be my preferred way of travel. Just compare how empty this coach is compared to the cramped and very busy standard coaches behind me, and only for an extra 15 to 25 quid.
and before you know it, we're approaching Preston. Well, just as I'm getting off at Preston, just look at this. Still almost completely empty in stand and premium. Well, that was a really comfortable journey down from Edinburgh to Preston on that Avanti West Coast Pendolino train. Standard premium is definitely worth the upgrade. I paid £41.50 for the standard class ticket plus a £25 upgrade fee. For all that space and almost completely empty carriages, I reckon that is extremely good value for money. And as I said earlier, I think that is going to be my preferred class of travel from now on. I really don't think you need to pay the extra for the free food that you get on board in first class. The rest of the experience is pretty much the same. Well, I've got about 20 minutes now until my connecting service to St Anne's on the sea. Welcome to St Anne's on the Sea and what a glorious day it is here, if a little windy. Now this is an English seaside resort that you've probably never even heard of, let alone visited. But there's a glorious Victorian pier here and a fabulous beach. And I'm going to be taking a walk around and doing a vlog of the sights and sound of St Anne's. So please do subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss that next vlog, a walkabout of St Anne's on the Sea. Well, I've had a fabulous journey down from Scotland this morning. Morning. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next video, remember, there's always something to see. So get out there and find it. Oh,